Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to calculate the z-score in Excel. Now, the z-score in statistics, or the standard score, it's also known as the standard score, it's a number that measures a value's relationship to the mean of a group of values, and it's measured in terms of the standard deviations from that mean. So if we just kind of made up some numbers here, let's say we had some scores here, and I'm going to randomize, randomize some numbers, maybe between 84 and, I don't know, 114. And... I bring it down here. Let's make a couple numbers here. And let's make sure they don't change. Control C to copy. And then just paste his values. And I want to find my Z score. Well, first, and the formula in Excel or the function in Excel to find out the Z score is called standardize, based off of the concept that it's a standard score. And you'll notice that it needs the mean and the standard deviation. So before I actually can do this, I need to find the mean and standard deviation. So, and there's different functions to find the mean and standard deviation. So I'll just kind of type it out quickly here. So our mean is basically using the average function of these numbers. And then the mean is the standard deviation function. We're gonna use sample because we're just gonna assume this is a small sample out of a larger sample. And once I have that, now I can do the Z, Z scores standardize. X is my score here. My mean is this number. Press the F4 key to lock that in because when I copy it down I don't want it to change. The X of course will change because it will go from 110 to 92 etc. Standard deviation is going to be this one. Press F4 to lock that one in. Have the dollar signs in front of the letter and number so it doesn't change. Press enter. Whoops I entered too many arguments. It looks like I have an extra comma in the front here. Let's remove that, press enter, and I have my z-score there. Double click the fill handle to bring it down, and now you'll see that I have my z-score. So there are my z-scores, more of my standard scores. Well, what does that really tell me? Let's kind of bring in another example here. So what I have here is a normal distribution curve, um, standard bell curve, right? And let's say we have a mean of 100, and a standard deviation of 20. So what we're saying here is with our mean of 100, we have our mean of 100 and our standard deviation. The first, the first standard deviation will fall between uh, 80 and 120. So the mean uh, minus 20 and the mean plus 20, right? So we have 80 and 120. So that's the first standard deviation. And a further standard deviation may be another 20, right? 100 minus 40 plus 100 plus 40 Data that is two standard deviations from the mean would be at 60, that's 100 minus 40, and 140, 100 plus 40. Three standard deviations, you're gonna, it's gonna be another 20, so that's gonna be 100 minus 60, which would give us 40, and 100 plus 60, which would give us 160. So that's basically what it's doing. Now our z-score is just giving us the detail of exactly where it lies. So let's say for example we had our mean here of 100 and standard deviation 20. Of course we do our standard deviation our standardized function again and our x is this value, our mean is 100 and our standard deviation is 20. Close parentheses, press enter. Now we have our z scores here, right? And this this is basically telling us the same thing. Now the z score is calculated based on this particular formula here. Let's move this over here a little bit more. All right, we can we can actually do this pretty manually. It's not that hard. So what we're saying is, if we do x minus the mean, this x bar is the mean. So we're saying equals this minus the mean of 100. That's one. Double click the fill handle, bring it down. Whoops, I don't need to bring it down that far drag the fill handle to bring it down here. And if I want to find the z-score, I have to divide by s. So we'll do this z-score again. Yes, so I'll just pretend that's that. Equals that divided by s is my standard deviation, 20. Press enter, drag the fill handle down. And now you notice that it has the same output as the function there. So that's what it's saying. It's saying like this value, 101, 
has a z-score of 0.05, so it's not too far from the mean. It's probably somewhere over here. Let's give this a value of 120, right? One standard deviation from the mean. And if, if I give it that, this is going to be a 1. The z-score is going to be a 1, right? Because it's exactly one standard deviation from the mean. If I give it 140, it's going to be two, two standard deviations from the mean. So that's what we're doing with the z-score. It just basically is another way of telling you how many standard deviations exactly is that value from the mean. So that's how we can calculate a z-score in Excel using the standard function or you can just kind of do it manually here with this particular formula. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.